Hey everyone, Gavin here, and I automate businesses full time. I use make.com as my primary tool. It's the best tool in the market, in my opinion. And recently I found myself using the OpenAI module a bunch. It is very, very powerful, and I'm honestly blown away with what's possible. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three examples of how I've used it and how you can use it for your business as well. So let's get right into it. The first automation we have is using ChatGPT to create social content from blogs. So essentially this automation will generate social media sharing content from your blog or newsletter automatically. So very basic example, and you can go much, much more in depth here like I usually do with my clients. But for the sake of this example, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So maybe you have a newsletter to share to your Twitter, Facebook, Discord, whatever it may be, uh, or maybe you have blog posts, whatever it is, the first thing you'll need to do is find the URL to your RSS feed. So this module, Watch RSS Feed Items, is basically just watching your blog page or newsletter, and every time you publish a new one, it'll grab that data. So for this example, I'm just using entrepreneur.com. Next is where our friend ChatGPT does the work for us. So in this prompt, I'm telling GPT to write a tweet promoting my blog. So as you can see, uh, in the prompt, I'm giving it less than 280 characters, no hashtags, and then feeding it the description. Now you'll see in the next step, it uses hashtags even when I tell it not to. Don't ask me why, it's very annoying. But other than that, uh, check out this tweet, it killed it. Stores this right in my Airtable database, and here's where you can make edits, you know, whatever you need to do, and then actually post the tweet, uh, Facebook post, Telegram, whatever you want. I mean, the possibilities for this automation are endless. Uh, moving on. Now let's dive into the second automation. So this automation is called ChatGPT Sentiment Analysis. And this is a very powerful tool that basically analyzes the sentiment of a piece of text. Uh, and in this example, it's watching new email replies. So looking at this automation, we're watching new email replies and having ChatGPT determine whether or not the reply is positive or negative. So here's a prompt I gave it. You are a sales expert who is great at identifying whether or not an email is positive or negative. You can only reply in JSON format. You will receive an email from the person I contacted asking them to offer my digital marketing services. If it sounds like they're willing to let me do this, then that would be considered a positive response. If they want me to stop emailing, they say no, or any other response, then that would be considered a negative response. Next thing, parse the response, and from there we have a router which adds positive responses to my positive response table in the air table and negative responses to the negative response table. Now, this has worked really well so far. And I know a ton of agencies have someone whose literal whole job is to manage the inbox or maybe you manage it yourself for cold email campaigns. And this can make things a hundred times more efficient. It isn't perfect, but that's where you can actually go into Airtable, confirm the replies are indeed positive or negative, and go from there. And last but definitely not least, we have ChatGPT chooses the ideal lead to contact. Now, this automation is using the power of AI to analyze your leads and choose the most promising ones. So essentially, I use this with clients when they're using Apollo, Snov, uh, stuff like that. And essentially, it's to find emails when you give it the domain of your target companies. So. To automate this, you can have GPT choose the ideal contact for you so you don't need to look through your list and manually decide the best contact. So for this prompt, uh, similar to the last one, it's you know telling it that you're a sales rep looking to reach out and offer your digital marketing services. Uh, and then it says from the list of rows, find the best contact to reach out to, prioritize positions related to marketing, such as CMO, marketing, sales, etc. If these don't exist, use your judgment to determine the best next contact, such as CEO, operations, etc. So here's a small list I gave it. Obviously, if you're doing this, you'll have a much bigger list with tons of domains, tons of contacts. But just for this example, we have a few people in here, including a manager of sales administration, a loyalty and retention coordinator and director of operations. As you can see, GPT decided that Nadine, the sales manager, is the best contact out of this list, which Really is probably the best I'd say for this as well. Uh, maybe operations, but either way, you can further enhance this prompt. Honestly, prepare to be amazed. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you found these chat GPT automations as impressive as I did. The possibilities of what you can achieve with AI and automation are virtually limitless. Comment down below your thoughts uh, or any questions you have. I'd love to hear and I want to get back to each and every one of you. 
Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if this was valuable and feel free to join my community uh, or reach out to us at the link in the description below if you run a business and are interested in leveraging automation. And until next time, keep automating.